Hello everyone, this is our presentation contribution. This is content. Uh, the first one, international and foreign exchange markets. Concerns about an outlook for China's economy and job in oil price has been a significant driver of financial markets. Recently, concerns about the price decline and the currencies of commodity exports depreciate. The capital flows out of China because the future value of Nigeria may be is uncertainty and cannot be predicted, even decreased in its foreign exchange reserve. The domestic market conditions. China has become the second largest economy in the world. This is a data of China in the target period. The most significant event happened in 2017 is that it has opened the 19th Communist Party Congress to decide that China should fulfill the modernization objective in year 2035. The central bank policy. In China, the central bank is responsible for the flexible monetary policy, drafting and application. First, the central bank will continue its prudent policy and maintain reasonable monetary credit and social financial growth. Second, the central bank will effectively prevent and diffuse financial risks. Third, the central bank will continue to promote the steady and sound development of financial markets. So the physical policy is the plan the government provides the citizen with goods and service and how the government finances spending. Physical policy has important influence on the financial strength because it determines the way governments correct and consume and also affect the economic. According to the graph, the uh, expansional physical policy will shift IS curve to the right, equilibrium point to the right. So the inflation rate in the middle 1990s, the Chinese economic growth from shortage to the surplus, the higher domestic saving supports the higher investment and the increasing the risk of inflation rate in China. The policymaker should control the foreign trade surplus, therefore reducing the country inflation rate. The last one is the World Bank has released its last issue of East Asian Pacific Economic Updates. The Asian Development Bank say the Chinese economic and the GDP is expected to grow and the GDP grows to the 6.6%. In order to solve the microeconomic risk, China's current economic measure the tightened monetary policy and help the China economic continue to grow standard. Thank you for listening our presentation and this is our reference list.